Publishing your first game on Steam costs $100 per title, but what if you're a beginner and you just want to share your minigame online, let people play it and even sell it or accept donations without paying that fee? Today I'll show you exactly how to build a browser version of your Unity game and publish it on HIO step by step from export to creating a custom store page. By the end you'll have a playable web game with a landing page, a comment section and even the option to set a price or accept donations. This works with any Unity project. I'll use my tower defense game as an example, but you can follow along with your own. If you've got a finished game and you want to share it with the world, this is the easiest way to start publishing. Think like if you want me to make more game development tutorials. Every like on this video helps a lot. I go to File, Build Profiles, and here Unity lets me export a playable build for all sorts of platforms, like Windows, Android or PlayStation. Unity makes cross-platform really easy. In this case, I want to publish it as a web game that runs in the browser, and if you've added touch controls, it will also work on mobile browsers. This web option might not be available for you, it might be greyed out. To enable it, you need to go to your Unity Hub, find the Installs tab, and the Unity Editor version you are using for this project. If you are using a different version, this UI might look slightly different, but all these options will be there somewhere. I go to Manage, Add Modules, and I look for WebGL Build Support Module. I install it from here. After the install, you have to close and reopen Unity, and then here, under Build Profiles, the web option will be available, and you can click Switch Platform. It might take a while, so I wait. And when it's done, I will see web as active, like this. With web build profile active, I can click build here. I select some local folder I created for my web build. It should be separate and outside the folders for this Unity project. For example, I have a special folder for builds and I call it Space Defenders Web Build. I select the folder and this part can take quite a long time, so I fast forward. When the process finishes, Unity creates some files and also this index.html. To upload them online, I need all of them to be in a zip archive, so I pack it into build zip, like this. There are multiple platforms online that will host your game for you. I will show you how to create your own itch.io page, and if you want just the simplest possible solution, skip ahead to the next part, where I show you how to upload your game on Unity Play. You will need to create your profile first if you want itch.io to host your games. I create a very simple basic profile and I customize it with this banner. You don't really need that, only if you want to make it look nice. If I go here under create dashboard and I create a new project, I give it some title here. We will need a custom URL. I will go for this. I can add some short description or tagline here. Here under classification, we are uploading a playable game. It's a web game, so the kind of project is HTML. We have a zip file that will be played in the browser. Pricing, I keep it at zero. This is a free game, but it will allow people to donate if they want. Most important is this part here under uploads. I click upload files and I navigate to the folder where I created my playable web build. We need this zip file. It will upload here. I can put in some description as well if I want. Genre is tower defense, but that's not available here, so I will put survival or strategy might also work. We didn't use any AI, so I say no here. There are more options here, but for a web game, the most important is under embed options. Let's leave it at default to see what happens, and I will show you how to get back to this. I can also upload some cover image. It gives you recommended size here. Here in gameplay video, I will link to my YouTube, which shows a lot of gameplay for this project. And I will also make some screenshots and upload them here. Let's save that and view page. We get this very basic page and we can run the game here. I can also make it look better by clicking this edit theme button. I can upload a banner, background and embed BG. I use a banner that's 960 times 400 pixels. It will put it up here, like this. We can also do a background. I have this repeating pattern of enemies that I quickly put together. It's just a simple tile designed to repeat seamlessly. This embed BG is if you want to have an image that appears behind your game when it's embedded on the page. 
I tried a few versions of this and I get the best result if the image has some white margins. Otherwise, it doesn't look right. I'm using an image 980 x 620 and I keep these white margins to make sure it's not visible when we run and play the game. This already makes the game page look nicer. There are many more customizations you can do here, but it's not essential. I go back to my dashboard and I will edit my project again. I add some screenshots I prepared. I made sure these are a reasonable size. They are PNG format and I compressed them to make sure my game page doesn't take forever to load. I will upload the cover image. I made it 630 times 500 pixels. Save that. Back to my dashboard. Now I will see that image here. I can now run the game to play it. But there is an issue. It doesn't really fit into the frame. I reload the page and we will fix that. First of all, I uploaded some screenshots. Here I can choose where I want to display them. Sidebar is the best. They will go here. And I will edit my game. I make sure I select HTML here. Under Embed Options, I set this to Embed in Page. And this one will be set to Auto Detect Size. I also check Mobile Friendly because we did add mobile controls. And I set Orientation to Landscape. From my testing, this website is very good at making your game playable as a full screen mobile game from a browser like this. You also want to add some tags to make your game easier to discover on the platform. And when you are ready, you can change this from draft to public. I save my changes and I open my game page again. So this is how you publish a browser playable version of your game. People can leave comments here and even send you money to support you through the systems provided by this site. We have a full screen button here as well if you want to play like that. This was quick and easy. I can now use this link up here to share my game and let others play it in their browser. This is not the only platform that allows us to do this. Unity Play has fewer features and options, but if you just want to have a quick playable web build and a public link to share, you can go to the Unity Play site. You already have a login for this because it's the same credentials you use for your Unity Hub. And here, I can see all my games I published here so far. I can click here to publish a new game. And again, I will just drag and drop that build zip file we created. I give my game some title and description, and I can set it to public here. I can indicate if I gave my game mobile controls here. We can't really create a fully featured customized page here, like we did on the previous site, but we can upload a thumbnail and a short small video that will play as a preview when you mouse over the thumbnail. So itch.io, if you want to publish your web game properly, it has analytics, you can charge money for your game, you can create a message board to go with your game, and 100 other features. Unity Play is for when you want to publish just a quick playable version of your game and you don't need all those extras. You can check out the playable version of the game we just published, linked below the like button. And if you've published your own, share it with me in the comments. Don't paste the full URL link because YouTube removes them automatically, but write it in a way I can type it in myself. I'd love to try your games. If you want to take this further, join me in my full masterclass where we build a complete, polished, animated game from start to finish.